Caden Live is perhaps the most popular free and open source nonlinear video editor, and there's a new release, 2112, out. So we're going to take a look at all of the awesome new features, so stick around. Hello, hello, wonderful and amazing people. I am Jay and you're watching DS Tech Media where we cover everything tech, specializing in Linux and open source. And speaking of open source, Caden Live is an open source project. It's perhaps one of the best open source projects in my opinion. Over the past, I don't know, two years, they've had steady, solid releases with just cascading awesome new features and improvements to it and this release is no exception whatsoever it is absolutely wonderful and if you're familiar with the channel i've done lots of videos on caden live it is my primary video editor so i'm quite partial to it but I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction. It really is great. So let's go ahead and take a look. So you can get Caden Live at cadenlive.org. If we go over here to download, they have Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Unfortunately, only available to you Mac OS Intel users. Not available for the M1 yet, but give them time, I'm sure that will happen. We got a bunch of options here. Uh, on Windows, there's the installation and the standalone. And on Linux, we've got the app image, flat pack, and a PPA for you Ubuntu users. So I'm going to be going with the app image because it's the greatest. This is about 21.12, but we are currently at 21.12.2, which means that there's been a bunch of little fixes and updates to it. But overall, it is the same, same, same. And here we are. Let's go ahead and hit that run button. We've also got a fancy new splash screen for when it's starting up. And let me go ahead and open a project. So first up, we can now have multiple project bins. So if we just make a new folder and right click it, we have the option to open in a new bin. And right down here, we get a, a new bin. So now we can switch between the bins. Perfect. If we want to keep our resources completely separate for whatever reason, the Flowblade video editor has had project bins for quite some time and I'm really excited to see Caden Live also bringing this to the game. So next up, kind of a interesting feature, it's same track transition. So used to be if we wanted to do a transition we had to overlap clips and you know we didn't have to have the whole thing overlap we might just do a section and we'd click the corner and we'd get a nice little wipe there well now we can do it on the same line by simply double clicking with the mouse and we get the same exact effect i believe they call this a mix and it happens for both audio and video oh, I guess you can change the point at which the audio goes as well you can also do it by hitting the U key on the keyboard or if you're like me and you've added the button for it which is right here and if you're not aware of how to do that go to configure toolbars and we have three different toolbars the main toolbar is up here the extra toolbar starts right here, and the timeline toolbar is uh, down here right now, but it, it goes above the timeline when it's done. Pretty much every single feature of Caden Live can be added as a icon in any of the toolbars. So I just went ahead and added this one, and if I just click that, we get the transition. So that is very, very cool. 
Okay, so up next, we've got a, another feature Flowblade has had for a while, and that is slip and ripple editing tools. You get that by going up to tool and selecting slip or ripple. And we go down here, find a clip. The way that slip editing works is we are essentially moving the position of the video, but keeping the keyframes on the timeline intact so where the video is changes but the length and position of it on the timeline do not so if you want to move a, a section forward or backwards you can do that with slip editing and then once again the ripple is here as well the way that ripple editing works is when we make a change to one clip the clip behind it follows so if i start to trim back on this clip everything behind it comes forward if i pull the this forward everything behind it comes with it pretty useful and once again Flowblade kind of beat them to it uh, one of the things that I've always kind of loved about Caden Live is how simple it is you just have select razor and spacer tool traditionally but those days are gone we've got advanced tools and they can just stay hidden up there in that menu or if we wanted to I could even add them alongside the three primary tools also, speaking of which, there is now the multicam tool. So we've had the multicam view here for the monitor for quite some time where you could switch between tracks, but the multicam tool adds to it. We've got the multicam endpoint. I move playhead to where we want to be, and then I can hit the one or two key on my keyboard, and we will have trimmed out this section so we can make compound cuts and essentially edit both clips at the same time let's say I don't want the track 2 section of, of this boom it's gone and let's say I don't want track 1 here boom it's gone we simply exit out and We've easily edited two separate tracks, so that is pretty nice addition there. We also get some new uh, effects. One of them is a noise reduction filter. The design of it is very... Uh... Hopefully you can hear the background noise in this clip. This is the new noise suppressor for voice and it is listed as an auto magical noise suppressor. So I've added it to the clip and now no noise. So I'm not gonna lie, the, the design of it is very, it's very forward thinking. These, uh, these fins. You can hear a little bit of distortion on the voice, but as far as removing that background noise, that that's pretty good. Let me turn it off so you can hear it again. So just a constant sound from the air conditioning. Yep. Turn it on and no more constant sound. It's pretty good. I'm not sure how much use I'll get out of it, but I'll try. Another effect is kind of a two-parter. So we've got the uh, motion tracker and it now has multiple ways of obscuring the object you're tracking so we've got opaque fill where we can just use you know whichever color we like pixelate gaussian blur or median blur so this is great for hiding text or various things that you might want to edit out of a video or my goofy face in this situation. But additionally, there are new advanced possibilities when it comes to the motion tracker. Specifically, DASIAM RPN, required model for DASIAM tracker not found in models folder. Check our wiki for instructions okay so here we have distractor aware siamese networks for visual object tracking and this is a pdf on it and this is a deep learning algorithm for motion tracking and in order for this to work we have to install it and on linux we need to put them in home local share kdenlive open vc models 
for okay so now i have the deep learning installed we're going to select dciam from the list go ahead and change this to an ellipse and get it around my head there let's set it to median blur and i think that's everything we need and analyze so it's in the process of analyzing and this little bar here shows us the progress. All right, so it did its thing. And each one of those little marks there is a point on the graph. So the PlayStation 5 is actually a quite capable gaming system. So far so system, good. And also a gaming of features to help connect and broadcast but one component is missing in order for us to be able to do that mm, kind of slipped there and for a second the, but and that is the camera but luckily slipped there too sony provides a overall i'd say it did a pretty good job though And just to remind you of some things that you can do with this, we can go to this hamburger menu here and we can copy those keyframes to the clipboard and then grab the DS Tech logo. Do a composite and transform and let's import keyframes from clipboard. Five is actually a quite capable uh, gaming system so using also, the data that we got from the motion tracking we can then apply that to any other effect that uses keyframes like composite and transform and we can put images that stay over top of the object that we were tracking so there's that that's pretty cool oh also applying LUTs is not new we've always had the apply LUT effect but now Caden Live ships with its own couple of LUTs. So we've got some built in Caden Live LUTs. They're not very great here. So not a good demonstration, but it's LUT stands for lookup tables and they're a way to do a color adjustment on an entire video clip. Speaking of color adjustment, I just recently did a video that I published maybe two or three days ago about some of the techniques you can use in Caden Live or Flowblade or any video editor, whether you're on Mac OS or Windows. And in the video, I just kind of show you a bunch of ways that you can do some cool things and add some extra stuff to your video. I will put a link, hopefully, up at the top right of this video so if you want to check that out you can click that head on over there but yeah that's uh that's what we got the performance of this release is actually really good this one seems to have really kind of upped the ante and got it back to where it was in the prior release where the performance made a huge jump so there's that so there you have it Caden live 21.12 with all of its new features I personally am really excited about the most practical one, which is the bins. But I also really love the same track transitions. The different types of obscure is a big deal. I honestly totally forgot that that's where the obscure was. And that if you wanted to block like something out, and what I would do is I would make like a little square in like an image editor and then import that and adjust that manually it was crazy so this is way easier i'm so glad i know that now for like redacting ip addresses or email addresses or whatever personal information but yeah kaden live 21.12.2 another one on the books if you go to the website you can see all the other changes they've done there's a lot of fixes for instance um oh, i can show this to you real quick on a track if i were doing a fade in that works now it was actually broken for a couple versions the fade in so the would have like all these green and red colors it was like a, a color space issue of some kind 
they fixed that. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, if you just go to cadenlive.org, you can see the whole list of everything that's been fixed and the instructions for installing the deep learning models are there as well as i said check out that video that i added a couple days ago it's got a bunch of video editing stuff if you're watching this chances are that will also appeal to you and if you didn't notice by this video i have a video about the playstation 5 that'll be coming out at some point this month i'm doing a lot more hardware related videos even though people don't seem to watch him. I did that Philips Hue video, which you should check that out too, I think, because I really love these lights. They're they're awesome. But yeah, uh, if you like this, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you hated it, tell me why you hated it, because you, you no know, one can see your thumbs down on YouTube anymore. If you're watching this on Odyssey or whatever, you can still use the thumbs up, I guess. But uh, like, share. Sharing is caring, and sharing really helps. If you'll share this to places, I'd be forever grateful. Also, in the description of the video, you can find links to all of the alternative video sites. Odyssey, DTube, BitChute, Rumble, ThreeSpeak. I mean, I'm on everything. And I could always use your help growing. And if you really like this and think that I did an okay job, maybe you go watch another video, think that it was pretty good. Think about hitting that subscribe button because that, that means something to me. Even though it doesn't mean anything on YouTube anymore, it means something to me. That number means something to me. Anyways, I thank you for watching. Uh, use Linux, use open source, protect your privacy, and take control of your computer. I'm Jay, and you've been watching DS Tech Media, and we'll see you in the next one.